Ah, oh, he's been a motherfucker. I'm gonna whoop your ass. You can make a choice. I can either take this shit or you can give it to me willingly. I want it. I want it willingly. Oh, I know you do, I you dirty it. bitch. I'm the juggernaut. I'm ready to fuck. I've been ready to fuck. My suit's so tight. Fuck y'all doing in here? Oh shit, Charles, we about to get a hand job from Rebecca Romaine's name on. What's going on in here? Oh shit, Charles, you trying to get some pussy? You know it ain't no fun if the drug and I can't have none. Come here, bitch. You gonna let me put them papayas in my damn? Oh yeah. You know the motherfucking jug and I got a cock block while you here trying to fuck Diana Ross door and y'all roll, man. Come here, bitch. Have me to blow your brains out. <laughs> oh, it's the jug and I, bitch. Yeah, Charles, I see you trying to fuck Mr. Potato Head, daughter, dressed up as <sighs> fucking bitch. Oh, it's the juggernaut, bitch! Yeah, Charles, you know I came to cock block your paralyzed ass. Come here, bitch! Ain't gonna be no fucking if the juggernaut ain't gonna put his fist in yet. <laughs> oh, it's the juggernaut, bitch! And I came to cock block you, Charles. Why you in here trying to get a fucking rusty trombone with your paralyzed ass, bitch? You wanna suck my ass? <laughs> Don't you know who I am? I'm the Juggernaut, bitch! Oh, it's the Juggernaut, bitch! I came to cock block you, Charles, you paralyzed son of a bitch! Oh, you trying to get a CJ? Hey, bitch, I was wondering if I could fuck you in your ass, make you fart out your mouth! Thank you, sir. When I'm done with this whole live streaming this game, I'm going to go ahead and help you with your thing. I got you, bro. in a nigga's eye? Oh, wow. Oh. Right, come on. Let's go. Hey, well, where's Abby? Who? She's fit. Keep back. Hey, don't put that fucking thing in hey, me. Hey, 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 hey. Abby tried to escape. She's down in the pillars. The pillars? Down to the beach. You won't miss it. She escaped? She's probably already dead. Oh no. Come on. Damn. The one inch thrust, nigga. That's what just saved your life. <laughs> Oh boy. Where are you? It's getting real. Dude, it's about to end. This might be the end.
Dude, this is crazy. Oh, shit. Damn, it started burning this place down quick. Jesus Christ. We gotta get there. Come on. <gasps> Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Are you serious? There she is. Abby? The kid. <laughs> I know that's the kid for sure right here. That's the kid. I thought that was her just now. There she is. Did they cut her hair? No. Oh my God. Damn, they beat the shit out of her. Dude. <sighs> What's about to happen here? Yeah, um, I'm hurt because I got hogtied like a Bugs Bunny cartoon show. And when I, they flipped me upside down with the rope, uh, her like liver or something got punctured by the tree. So she's been bleeding out. Oh shit. Hmm. 
Here we go. I can't let you leave. I'm not doing this. Here we go. Dude, this is ridiculous. You're a murderer. Knock your tooth out.
my god! She left. Missing fingers, how you gonna do this? She came back to talk to him. No. She's too young looking on this. Let's see. Is this after the fight? 
Let's see. Yeah, this has to be after the bar fight. So when they already had their issue, their beef. I had Seth under control. Yeah. yeah, this is after the fight. And you need to stop harassing Jesse about my patrols. Okay. <laughs> Dina. She, that was just one kiss. It didn't mean anything. She just, I don't know why she did that. But you do like her. <sighs> Stupid. I have no idea what that girl's intentions are, but. But I do know that she would be lucky to have you. You're such an asshole. I'm not trying to. I was supposed to die in that hospital. My life would have fucking mattered. But you took that from me. Somehow the Lord gave me a second chance at that moment. I would do it all over again. I don't think I can ever forgive you for that. But I would like to try. See you around. Yep. The window like the first game.
lot going on as far as whether it's for me or the story but there's things that I think um, that we have to think about as far as you know the narrative of the story you know I, I think I think there's interesting attempts at trying to create a story that was interesting and because it's a game we had to create a formula that would have required the uh, this game to be interesting so I think this this story was limited in its way that it could portray a story now I think obviously the main attraction to this game is was supposed to already be about Joel, which is why it was always a consistent flashback. But I think there are some uh, <coughs> hard uh, narrative features to accept about uh, Ellie, uh, even in the first game. Like, you know, everybody kind of drew a, a liking to Joel because he was introduced to us as an innocent person you know and we see the descent of his character fall into chaos with the loss of his daughter in the first game which that's the b intro of the game so it's not a spoiler but he uh <clears throat> he lost his ways and um just started living of the world that was presented to him. I remember, you know, I wonder about Joel is how, when you go through that, how do you convince yourself to continue living day by day in scenarios that you don't even want to? Like it's, it was, he was, it was off of survival, but I don't know if it was off of will because he did things instinctively to live kind of like drowning you, you know you you can try but it's so hard you have that instinctive removal from that water presence and i wonder if that's what kind of forced joel to stay alive it's just the body instinctively wanting to live so i don't i know joel I, I don't know i just he lost all that all of his joy you know, in those first 15 minutes of that game, when you see him when he wakes up, that um, tired man of the world that he's a part of, he fell into whatever lust of the worlds that came by him. You know, him and his brother did wicked things to survive, though. But that's what my point is. It was based off of instinct or the nature of wanting to live. The body wanting to live. I don't, I don't know if that's the same thing as your will wanting to live. That's what's interesting about Joel is what what was his what is his admiration? You know, and then even when we meet him, um, I mean, we're supposed to be sold on the fact that food packets is going to be a huge payoff for him and uh, he lost friends on the way there we introduced to Ellie and even our introduction to Ellie it wasn't like he immediately oh relationship daughter it was gradually that he grew because of the requirement of needing to keep this human alive from what I remember from the game I know that that pivotal moment was when he was drowning and she shot the dude behind uh, behind him. And um, I think it was at that moment he had said that he felt that he lost, seen her lose her innocence as a child. And that's when he tried to adopt her into his foster child. And obviously that ignited home for him to have a future so I understand that and obviously we now see a character that has lost his grace and now is going 
rate going back up you know be getting an op a second opportunity at life and we we see his nature of his character try to become that loving father again and you know we saw what happens when when life tries to take it away he immediately went back to his survival instinct that that natural worldly desires i mean down here popped off the guy's kneecap but um you know she killed that cannibal then i don't even know if he was a pedophile either but killed that pe uh that cannibal and i remember that part where he tried to really embrace her because she was really scared um rightfully so but you know after that he kind of started he started seeing his added to uplift like I remember the rebar incident and all that but you know we saw how the game was like he wanted to you know that early year when she went to the, the dinosaur and the uh, space admission like that's that was the peak and um, we see that joy that wanting to will to live and then um, when he had to tell her the truth he, you still see that he has a reason to to live continue to have an admiration to do something and that was to restore the you know healing for her not for himself to gain her trust back but what I don't understand is about her nature where I know when we played the DLC from the first game um, you kind of get an understanding where Ellie came from why she was the way she was we understand the um, understand that um, you know her tough attitude to her. and obviously her whole thought was she wanted to sacrifice herself due to her friend you know so I know that's where her whole life mission was robbed of her so I know that's that major betrayal And but I just find it interesting that she couldn't find the joy in life that Joel gave her it was always nitpicking at her and I guess it was that guilt for her relationship with that girl, the promise, but you know, you rob that away from her when that relationship came from. Where does she, where is her ambition to survive? She continued to stay there. You know. I don't know. I don't I really don't know what would be her desires during that early time period. You would think she would have wanted to go with Fireflies to do what she wanted to do, but she just stayed in Jacksonville. But for what? What what joy do you have now knowing that you are the cure and you're doing nothing with it? So I, I don't know what that would be like, you know. But obviously the whole point of this game is to let us realize that at the end that they had just overcame the, the struggles they had and uh, she lost them. I think Abby, for me, this was a, I really did enjoy her as a character because... Abby I think Abby was hard to accept at the beginning because it wasn't the same scenario where we start from an innocence point of view we were given the loss of grace immediately up front removing our connection to Joel and so obviously we're supposed to feel like Ellie but She chose revenge. You know, we see that she had an opportunity of relationship. She had joy, and obviously, the loss of her father impacted her. But you know, I've 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 seen people who have been able to forgive murderers and rapists of their children and adopt those people that have mur removed them from life into the life as a child of replacement. But I guess I don't know, man. Like. Obviously, this hits heavy grounds on forgiving and forgetting. And obviously, we see the struggle between that. I mean, I think it's amazing that Abby was able to give uh, Ellie a second chance at life when she spared her and her pregnant friend. And it might know it wasn't by her will alone. It was the influence of her, of the the the, the, the young girl that was transitioning. Um, I 
I don't really understand why revenge was such a desire even after she spared her life. Like, she didn't even think about it. Obviously, she suffered from the PTSD, but, like, I don't know what was her... Ad- we read the book. She wasn't sleeping. She, I, I guess she would. I guess it wasn't to kill. I think her thing was she just wanted to see if there would be some kind of closure. But that's a lot to go through, knowing that you would destroy your family. And that part when she came home, and went to an empty house. You feel lost, confused. I think it's more interesting because in her situation, the uh, the house was very clean. So I guess for her, you can easily adopt that they left. I've seen a scenario where it's like that, but it was a disaster. And so the mind doesn't go to, you know, where are they at is more like are they okay because it makes you feel like there's a home invasion so I think it's interesting that they didn't necessarily go with that route where you know they left us a mess when she folded her blankets for her god leave bro I'm going there I think this game was um, it was more interesting as a tale that rather than a game experience and that's not a bad thing I think the first one was way more fun as a game and then the narrative was just you know right I wouldn't say better than the gameplay but it was beneath it to where the gameplay exceeded the experience of the story this one I I feel like the story was way more compelling than the game experience and I think it has a lot to do with the way the game's narrative was to capture us to absorb the environment the world and so at many times rather than it being a cutscene, you play it and I think that's why you would think it shouldn't take points away from the game experience but it's it's like if Last of Us were the first one had like a a 5 level gameplay and a 4.9 story you know what would be an even 5.5 score this one it's like the gameplay was still a five, but then the story had a 5.5, even though the max score should be a five. And uh, because of it excelling so much, you would need the gameplay to also compensate. I know that uh, for me, the best part of the gameplay was uh, uh, enjoying playing as Abby. Obviously, a nod back to Joel because of that brawler like gameplay. Um, I didn't really enjoy too much of Abby's kind of cheating, you know, having that knife. Like, unlimited shifts is what it was. And um, I didn't really enjoy that part of it. Um, I will definitely be playing a replay of this, but... uh, This body red In the old churchyard This cross of self denial and go see. I will do an analysis on this, and I'm glad I'm recording my my thoughts right now. Um, because I do need to see. I've, I've, I don't know what the reaction to why everybody's so mad about this game. I'm not sure if it's the you know, the uh, the same sex issues, the no I, gender identity issues. Like, I won't say that it was the only part of that was saying, and not not the word excessive, but where it really was in your face was um, Abby's relationship to her um, friend that was pregnant. I think um, not the relationship, but the way that the camera portrayed. Uh, I guess the kisses It was pretty uh, <laughs> Like I don't even know if, I don't know it just, it just It kept like busting a bubble You know like that's nasty Nobody Nobody likes to see that Just like how it was kind of Hard to watch um, uh, Abby's Ex-boyfriend 
engage in a physical relationship on here. That was kind of awkward. So I don't know. But uh, I'll, I'll see what I can do to get my thoughts together. Thank you guys for streaming with me tonight. Uh, obviously, we're done with the game. And oh! New game plus unlocked. Play through the game again with all the upgrades and up equipment obtained from a previous playthrough. Dude, that's beautiful. Oh, what's our extras? Concept arts. Oh, look at this. Jackson, Seattle. Seattle day two. Seattle day three. The park. Seattle day one with her. Well, the park is actually Abby. Day one. Day two. Day three. The farm. Santa Barbara. The farm again. Interesting. St. Mary's Hospital. Which is from the first game. Definitely unlocking that. Ground Zero. That was... That was something right there. The island. That's sad, too. The escape. Hey, these are the ones that I really want. Yeah, it is about time, huh? We finished it. So, we got Young Ellie. I'll definitely be unlocking that. Ellie Patrol. Ellie Birthday. I will unlock that for sure. Ellie Seattle. Ellie Lookout. Ellie Aquarium. Ellie Santa Barbara, she looked fucked up here. Ellie Epilogue. Abby Jackson. Young Abby Zoo. Unlock that. Young Abby Aquarium. Abby Seattle. Abby Coast. Abby Santa Barbara. That's messed up. They cut her hair here, bro. Sheesh. Joel. Hey, I'm I'm immediately unlocking that. Hey, let's do it. Man, my boy, Joel. Let's get that young Abby. Yeah, or Ellie. I'm sorry, young Ellie. Yeah, that's part one right there. And let's see. Joel on patrol. Joel birthday. Joel lookout. Joel and Jackson. Dina patrol. Dina, that's what her damn name was. Deanna Seattle. Dina farm. Man, that's messed up. I killed my boy Jesse. He, he had nothing to do with this, bro. Jesse Seattle. Tommy. That's my stuff. Man, Tommy Lookout. Tommy Seattle. That's messed up. I don't, I don't even want to look at that. Lev Forest. That's her name, Lev. Lev Seattle. Lev Santa Barbara. Yar. Yeah, that's the chick that saved me. Yar Aquarium. Owen Jackson, Owen Young, <laughs> Zoo, Firefly Baby, Young Owen Aquarium, The Christmas, Seattle, M Manny Jackson, that's the Hispanic dude, spit on my boy, you disrespectful, M Mel Jackson, Mel Seattle, oh that's the pay. hey doggy! Yeah, you know I'm okay. I'm gonna do that. Come on, Alex. Look at that dog. Look at that dog. Nora, she got fucked up, and we don't know what happened. Uh, Wolf, Whitney, Jordan, Mike, Nick, Isaac Fob, Isaac Scar. Jerry Zoo, Jerry Hospital, Marlene. Hey, I'm unlocking that. That's part one, baby. Yep, got to do that. She was from the first game. My boy, the doctor. 
We didn't know who he, man. Who would have guessed that that dude from the first game would have been huge? He was like in there for like five seconds. Uh, Maria. JJ, well, go ahead and unlock that potato. Look at that little baby. Seal bay. Yeah, let's get the horse. You already know. What's up? Bucks need marine. Need more horses. Shimmer. Man, they blew my damn horse up. Japan. Seth. Gustavo. I don't even know who that is. Seraphite Emily. Seraphite Brute Female. Yeah, they had that big lady. Seraphite Brute Male. Large Rattler M. <laughs> the dog. Yo, that's the dog. <laughs> uh, Large Rattler. Damn, when they messed them up. Mm hmm. Uh, small rattler, prisoner, Jackson runner male, wolf runner male, stalker female, stalker male, Jackson clicker. We'll go ahead and get the clicker. Ooh. Scary. Uh, clicker mail do that too. Yeek. Armored clicker mail. Rattler clicker mail. Dang. Shambler. Though those are new. Eee, look at that. That's crazy. The bloater. Yeah, the, those are uh, my favorite bad guys in this game. I ain't gonna lie to you. Bloaters, they're freaking cool. They were cool in the first game. They were cool in this game. Rat King? Is that what that was called? Oh. Is that what he was? It was a rat? Was that what that was? Rat King Bloater Half. Really? Stalker Half. Interesting. All right. Is there anything else I can use my points on? Whoa. We never get to see that, huh? Wow, was that a real life picture? <laughs> Stinky baby. Huh. That's sad. My boy Tommy. Hmm. Different hairstyle choices. Damn. The farm. We get these two. Damn, look how dirty it is.
Yo. That's nice. The park. That's Abby. Hmm. There we go. I want to see these. Oh, man. Nothing. Yo. My boy, Joel. Let's get some more Joel. Joel gets my money first. All right. Let's go. My boy, Joel. Birthday, Joel. Yo, is that the blue shirt when they first started in the other game? I wonder. Ha! Ah! That's the I guess it's green denim shirt thing from the first game. Classic backpack. Dang. You know, it's funny, bro. I didn't even notice that. So that's how his hair was in the first game. My man's hair aged. Look at that. Dang, because look, that's part one, and that's still part one. I guess that's still part one here, too. Yeah, that's fresh. That's fresh part one. Like, that's for real, for real part one. Like, that's during the scene. And so my man aged. He went, he went and got that long hair, that, uh, that, uh, what is it, George Michael? Yeah, that George Michael. See what else we got. I'll do Abby because Abby was cool. Damn, she always looking angry. There you go. This is messed up right here. Jeez, look. She got so skinny. Damn. All right, it's time for you, Ellie. Do the birthday first. Jesus Christ, bro. Tommy. Jesus Christ, bro. Damn. 
Firefly, baby. The Brutes, where are they at? I want the Brutes. There we go. <laughs> Damn, your face got jacked up in that. I think if it's you, you your face got jacked up. Exploring experience the story with the lighter combat challenge. Camera and aim assistance settings are enabled by default. Less challenging than the moderate. Resources are more common and enemies are less dangerous. Moderate. Provides the blunt experience. Resources are limited. Hard. For those looking for a greater challenge, resources are very limited and enemies are more na dangerous. Survivor. An intense demanding challenge. Resources are extremely scarce and enemies are deadly. Customize the difficulty sense to create your own challenge. Survivor, which is what that is. Okay. A lot of damage break can take from enemies. Jesus. That's crazy. All right. All right. Well, I'm pretty much done then, folks. Uh, what are the encounters? All right. I'm done, though. Uh, I guess uh, I will see you guys later. I will be streaming the uh, first one as well, so we'll we'll enjoy that. Good night, everybody. Y'all be safe. <laughs>